I was so excited for this interview, especially to talk about your participation in FIFA World Cup 1994 and 1998, also 2014 as an assistant coach to Mark Wilmot. But while doing my searching, I discovered another word, Vital Burkulmans, the minor. You actually worked as a minor during the beginning of your football career. Yes, uh, this is true. Um, when I played in the second class uh, in Belgium, um, and I was playing uh, Bad Reis when I was 19. And every day I go, uh, every day I go one kilometer on the ground walking. And yeah, it was uh, sometimes difficult. But I, I must say it for me, make this strong in my life as a, as a football player. And I have always uh, a souvenir of, of, uh, of this uh, on my telephone. Uh, let's, see, let's see you that yes, it's, uh, at the, when I was uh, 19, I coming back up. Look, <laughs> this is uh, me. Yeah. When I was 19 years old. And yeah, I'm happy I have this photo and this uh, make me um, what I did now on the field uh, when I was a player. But um, also you have witnessed uh, a tragedy in 1984. Yeah. This is, um, you know, um, when you work in the coal mine, uh, every day people uh, are injured or are going or dying but I work, I'm working um, the whole day uh, downstairs and I go back up and there was an explosion an explosion uh, was a big explosion and seven compels that's the name of uh, the miners we this is the name in Belgium compels uh, what death uh, in the mind and this is very sad for us why we are very close people uh, living together it was a sad sad day uh, for us what we lose a good friends of us uh, rock guy well, how was life down there in the dark and the heat the mice very dark <laughs> every day I, I have a lamp on this um yeah just when you're going uh like one kilometer on the ground then you have uh, you take the train and you go to the place where you must work in and this was like uh, six seven eight kilometers uh further away from from the door where you go up step on the elevator where you go back upstairs this map um i am also a guy i love uh dangerous things, have a special things um, like when I sign after uh, the national team of Belgium, I sign a contract in Jordan and everybody say, what you going to do in Jordan? I say, yes, I, I will go to train there. And everybody say, no, you, you must not do this, this thing. I say, no, it's not dangerous. And for me, it's, there's always special things. I, I love it. Do you remember your first time down there? Yeah. Was it scary? Um, yes. Um, but you must uh, make in your head, like one thing, like click, that you go finish, you go downstairs. I worked four years and a half there. And I can say it, um, this is for me the most best thing for for, for you have a good friends downstairs everybody is your friend yellow dark uh, Muslim everybody there is your best friend why you need each other and we are very close to each other and I say it I I work uh, with a lot of people of uh, Italy Spain Turkey uh, uh, Morocco by Belgian people and yeah that are good friends and you need each other yeah now let's move on to football 
1994, you were part of the Star Trek 11 during the triumph against the Netherlands. It's a derby, a special encounter. How do you see the rivalry with your neighbors? You know, everybody has, um, I say it, um, rival neighbors. Uh, Egypt is also like that. And we have, um, hello. I know the game in, uh, in uh, Tampa and Florida and the Silverstone, Silverstone Stadium. It was uh, 47 degrees, very hot. Before we coming in the uh, in the stadium, the Holland the Holland fans make a big flag, a very big flag, and every every fan sign it. And we must pass with the bus on this flag. And then uh, the game start uh, was very difficult. Uh, it was a very good team, and we we are also very strong. And I say it, uh, we win this game uh, in a difficult way, but for us was this one of the most uh, fine and good moment that we win uh, this game. And also then after we hear it in Belgium, everybody make party and you know, like the World Cup, uh, every people from your country, is behind the national team of Belgium, Egypt, everybody believe in, in the players and that was also for us. Mm, later on you didn't play against KC, but indeed you remember the famous goal of Saeed el when he passed uh, his way through the whole Belgian national team. I, knew, I need your vision of this goal. <laughs> uh, I dream every every time about, uh, I dream about this this goal. I see him. Okay, um, uh, Mr. Van Hims uh, changed a lot of players. They they had the yellow cards. I was there. Um, Josep Weber don't play. Frankie van der Raals and so I think Enzo don't play. And I see this guy starting uh, on the middle line. He passed the number six, the number eight. Then he passed the defender and he go to the left back. He passed him and he shoot to the goal and he go inside. And I see Mr. Van Hims do like this the first time. He was easy. And then he was shouting like that. And then he do like, oh my God, what's happening? And I say it, um, for me, when I was on the field, I give him a kick that he go with the legs to to the to the air. But okay, this can happen in, in in football. But I know the guy. I see the guy. I see how he can score. But I don't understand. He was so tired when he's he's shooting to the goal. He was so tired when he passed all the team. But okay, uh, this is uh, was not good for us. But. It was an amazing, amazing goal. It was the goal of the tournament. In 1998, uh, you had a, an important role, but um, Belgium was weird. A draw against the favorite of the group, uh, again, the Netherlands, but then a crazy game against Mexico. Yeah, okay, against Netherlands, you know, in 94, Netherlands was the top of the world. 98 was Netherlands again, the top of the world, together with uh, we had uh, Germany, Spain, Brazil, everybody. But uh, okay, and we play a draw against um, Netherlands. Also, was this famous game that uh, Patrick Leibert have a red card, and and then we we are well, easier to, to to can play. But also, I think maybe uh, we did this, maybe the the stuff maybe. Is, stupid thing and not saying, come guys, we going now for the three points. Two points, we can do it, we play, we play against 10 men. No, okay, it was a draw. And then the famous goal uh, game in uh, in Bordeaux, I don't forget it, ever. It was very, very hot, very hot. And okay, the game was good. We starting 2-0 in the first half. I played the first half against uh, Blanco, 
And I know Blanco from inside and outside. I know everything about him when I was playing. I looked to the television. I look what he's doing with the ball. And then on one moment, the second half, he go on the other side play. Other side, he play on the left side. And the coach uh, changed the uh, player. He put Gert Verheyen on this side. And Gert was, I think, one or two minutes on the field. And he made a penalty. And then, yeah, you know, that changed everything in, in the game for, for, um, for Mexico. Everything changed. We are not so good more anymore. Uh, the nervousness is coming in the game. And, and then also Blanco make an action, you know, what he always did. The ball between, between the two feet, he jumped and then he, he, made, he passed and he gave a cross. And one guy was alone in the second post uh, and he put him uh, in the goal and was 2-2. And then, okay, uh, we must win against the third match against Korea. And everything was good. Luke Nilu score, everything good. And then one time, or one moment, was 1-1. One, one. And, I, okay, and we can go home. We said we, for us, was finished uh, the tournament. Two teams, don't lose. France, don't lose. World champion, Belgium, take the flight back to Belgium. Finish. Yeah, it happened uh, with New Zealand in 2010. The only national teams that were didn't lose. Well, 16 years later, uh, you came back to the World Cup with a different rule. Uh, Belgium um, had and still has uh, a magnificent team. Do you think it was too hard uh, in 2014, after 12, um, 12 years without participation in major tournaments? Um, I know the day today that we started in 2012, uh, and the first game was against Holland. And uh, also, you know, big derby. And uh, we started with the team. Uh, De Bruyne play on the right side, always on the right side. Eden Hazard on the left side. Then we had uh, otherwise a Sepenteke. Uh, we had a, a lot of players uh, playing there. De Camargo was also a player of that. And then behind we have like uh, Witzel, Fellaini, Shotley, everybody can play in there. And in the defender way, we play always on the right side with uh, Toby Alderweer, company, from Beute, and uh, Jan Bertongen, sometimes also from Ale, and we have also um, Lombard, Nicolai. And this game, I, I say to the, to, in the second half to the, to the coach, now we going good. It was 2-1 for Holland. 1-2 for Holland. And I see the cross from, um, from the Bruyne from right to left. And Dries Mert is coming in. Lukaku scored. And everything was changed. And we won the game 4-2. And then starting the, the qualified for the World Cup in Brazil 2014. We playing against uh, Croatian, Serbian, um, Scotland and Wales. And we had a young team, a young team, very young team. Uh, I, mean, I can say it. De Nazar, 19, De Bruyne, 18, Courtois, 18, Lukaku, 17. All was young. Only company was a little bit older than uh, Van Buyt was 37. Uh, and then the rest, everybody was like 20, 22, 23. And we have like, like we say, when we put everything together in the tournament and uh, in Brazil was the age 23.7. And we are the youngest team um, ever playing in the World Cup. I, I can say we did very well, very well. We played the system 4-3-3. And we have the players for that. They did it well. And okay, and, and then this game starting. And then the famous game against Argentina. One, one time, Aguera take the control. Company missed, make a wrong movement. They scored and then the game was finished. 
and for us uh, was also the, the experience good for the players um, every player make a good uh, good uh, transfer to the big teams in Europe and uh, to England Spain France Germany I say it and then coming back the number one of the world and we start again we start again for uh, 2016 how could you prepare a game against Lionel Messi very easy for me uh, you know you play to a big star when he is coming in the zone of one player then we you must take him take him and looking always the left foot he is a guy he use like 90 90% of the body on the left side and when he is coming inside he go always deeper and deeper and deeper and then he's coming back inside after uh, three four touching the ball he's coming inside and I must say that we did it very well and Axel Witzel did it good uh, we talking many many times to Axel and we say to Axel Axel listen when he's coming from the right side the left side inside he do always three three times to four times make touching the ball and then he go inside movements and looking for one two companies or he give a pass between the lines that were the three solutions that he always did on this moment he do the same but as a player sometimes you forget it and i can say that the players of belgium play a very good game against uh, against Argentinian. Only the difference is Argentinian had a lot of experience, old players, and Belgium was young, uh, no experience from tournaments to play. And this was the difference. When you see in the 90, in the 90 minutes, 30, 31 minutes, the game was stopped. So balls, tackle, from Argentina, they were very clever and okay, and, and we are young, and that was a bit, a little bit, a lot of experience for our young player. Did you have a conversation with uh, Roberto Martinez when he took the hill? I know Roberto um, when I was scouting the national team in London, uh, up in England. I saw him. He was coach first in Wigan, then he was coach. And uh, Everton, uh, I talked many times uh, with him about the player, uh, Lukaku, he, he played play there. And then after he's coming to Belgium, I saw him one time. I understand it that he take the, the stuff from home to take mid to, to, to Belgium. I say also, it's normal. I wish you all the best. I am the number one fan of the national team. And whole Belgium believe in you and stay behind you. And I was always behind them. Do you think the media was harsh with you, with Wilmots, in comparison with uh, Martinez? Yeah. Uh, the media was very hard. I, 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 can, I can give you something that I was uh, the game against Holland. There was one guy. One guy come to me, one guy from the media come to me and say, I will talk to the coach. Okay, I will ask that he have time for you. After the training, before the press conference. And I say, coach, one journalist will talk to you. Okay, let him, let him come in. Right, let him in. And he said to me, the journalist, no, I will talk only alone with the coach. And the coach said, no, Vital is always staying next to me. He must listen to everything, what are happening. Uh, oh, and he say, okay, let's do no problem. And then he say like this, coach, I can make you a big trainer, but I can kill you also. But when you give me, when you give me before the game, the names of the players, I make you a big star. When you don't do this, I kill you every day. And he did it. Till today, let me give an example. Till today, he killed my coach every day. Always he killed him negative. When in Belgium play good, when we were number one, 
he killed my coach, my, my coach but I say to him, what are you doing? I can say now to the, to the press, what you did on this day before the match of Holland. I did this. I, I say to the people, this has happened before we started many, 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 and everybody was like, what? Is this true? I said, yeah. I write it also in my book. I write a book. And in this book is also that I say the same words what I say to you now. I write it that this journalist put this to my coach. Unbelievable. Do you think this relationship with the media would limit your chances to take a, a club in Belgium, for, for example? You need the media. The media is the strongest thing ever. You never, never, never you win against the media. Never. I believe, I say also, never we can win to the media. But you need the media. And the media need us. And I say also um, to, to the media and the, and the coach, listen, coach, everybody like to go to, go to the uh, 2014 to Brazil. Everybody. The media, we and the fans. We must come together. One time come together and talk. And we did it three times with, with media. But every time they kill us. They kill us. And okay, uh, then we say it to the, we and the coach, we say, okay, let them do it. And I'm always straight, straight head. I was in Jordan the same way, straight head. Nobody can talk to me. Nobody will know what I'm doing uh, with my players. And that the coach, Mark, was the same. Because I'm always honest to everybody. I never, I will say something what is not true. Never I will say that. Raja Nangolan was a vital player for Belgium till the arriving of, Ar of Martinez. He later said about his smoking problem, the previous technical staff knew I was smoking in the balcony and that wasn't a problem. Honestly, were you aware of that? Um, Zaki, I will say something to you. And I think also that you know also many players of people they sitting in, in a big sport is it basket uh, let me say volley hockey half players they smoking what you can do a guy come to us and he say to us coach is there a problem that I smoke after the thing. And he was so honest. And we say, no, when nobody see it, this up for me is, is, is this good. And the coach also, no, never we make that a problem. Never. Now, Martin is make a big problem. But I know that other players smoking behind the back. Yeah. But he was so honest. And you must also thinking like Rajo, Raja is some, some guy, he's working for the whole family. He built up the whole family, sister, brother, everything. He did everything for the family. And you must also be, uh, you must also know what's happening in the life before he was a football player. What is happening with, with, with the players? And this is what I do, is like, in Jordan, I will ask always, how you live in home? How you? How many sisters? Your pop and the mom. Everything is okay. I need to know everything about the player. Everything. Is sleepy good? Eat he good? Is he smoking? Okay, yeah, he he can smoke. Why not? But I must know everything. Jordan Lukaku wasn't a big fan of Mark Wilmots, no? Yeah, Jordan was talking too much. Yeah. And also, um, I say, I say also to him, I give you a big example. Do like your brother. Don't talk, but do it with your feet. And you do it with, with talking. And this is not so good. And you can now see now, where is Jordan Lukaku on this moment? No, 
Second Division and Lukaku into Milan. And this is the difference. Romulo is working with the feet, don't talk. And John is always talking, talking, talking. And okay, you have people, they talk. When you lose, you are disappointed. Sometimes you say something uh, and that you don't mean, but everybody hear it. And you know also that happening uh, with uh, Courtois. Uh, it's also that happening uh, the game after Wales that he had three goals inside, the number one of the world had three goals inside, and then he killed uh, my coach uh, on on an interview. Okay, this is what happened, and for me is this closing this issue, and we look further. And I'm happy that we make a good. Uh, good things in Real Madrid and all the players make good things in the, in the team. I'm always positive, they know it, and not neg negative to this players. Never, never, to nobody. Another superstar of Real Madrid is uh, Eden Hazard. What's wrong with Hazard? Is it a mental problem? No, uh, you must think in, uh, there's also England, competition in England, is one of the most heaviest competition ever. They play, like you say, every day they play a game, like pass every day. And then he make a very nice uh, transfer to, to Real Madrid. And I know Eden. Eden is a guy, he must play every day. He loves to play on the green grass. He loves it. He never he have stress. Never. He's a family man. He's a big, big family man. But uh, then he is uh, unlucky that he had a lot of injury. And you know, one time they, they, they give him a kick on the ankle and, and then is a... That was Monnier. Yeah. It's a long time that he had big problems on, on the ankle. But now, he make it good and you will see that he will be ready on the tournament in Qatar. Now you will see uh, that Eden will be ready on Qatar. What do you think about um, the FIFA World Cup in Qatar in December, November and December? I think personally that is uh, one of the best uh, World Cup uh, ever. Why? The, the players on this moment are playing on a big, big uh, level, high level. They're playing just starting the, the competition, just starting uh, the Champions League uh, and uh, end November they were playing uh, the World Cup and you know also better than me that the stadiums and the fields and, and Qatar are amazing amazing and also the weather is good it is like uh, 29 30 degrees uh, you have air conditioning in the in the, in the stadiums and I say it for me, is this one of the best tournaments ever? Yeah, that's a great. We wish all the luck for Belgium in uh, this World Cup. Now let's um, move forward to your spell in uh, Jordan and the Asian Cup uh, 2019. It was a strong, solid side uh, of Jordan. Didn't concede any goal during the group stage. But after lifting the expectation to the sky, the game against Vietnam was disappointing. For me, um, for me, it was not disappointed. Um, before uh, we make a camp in Qatar and we play against China, uh, Kyrgyzstan, and Azerbaijan, uh, we make a draw uh, against China, and we lose against Qatar uh, 2-1, and we make a, 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 a loss against Azerbaijan, and everybody on the television, the media was laughing with, with Jordan and they say uh, they put uh, zero points in, in the, the qualification uh, and I say to my players, guys, don't listen, don't listen to these people. On this moment, we are alone on a small island. Uh, the media don't believe in us, the fans don't believe in us, we must do it alone and we did it. Uh, we starting 
against Australian. I say to my guys, look, we are now in this moment, uh, it was like 125 or something, and they are number 32 or so in, in the world ranking. I say, you must be happy that you can play in our tournament and that you can play in here against the number 32 or 33 from the world. When you are afraid, then you never win. When you believe in your skills, then you can win against this team. And I must say that my players did this. Uh, I'm Shafir, the captain of the team. Uh, make also many good things in the goal. It's very important. And I have uh, very, very good players in, in, in my team. And then we win against Australia. Everybody was surprised. But we play very good. And then the second team where we playing was Syria. Uh, you know, Clash, Syria, Jordan is the neighbors. They, they don't like each other. Uh, Jordan is a small team, small country. And they put everything, bad things in my, in the newspaper. And I say to my, my guy from the media, Everything what they're writing, hold it and take it with you. And against um, Syria, I play uh, with the wingers outside, two high wingers, number seven and 11, without striker. Only four in the middle and four behind. I mean, coming from the two, second line, three guys from the second line, one number six, you are staying, and then I have three players on the midfield. And let me say three, uh, number 10 is coming on the midline. And Siri don't know what's happening. And I have always like five, six players coming in the box. My back, my left and right back was very high playing. And yeah, and then we scoring 2-0. Yeah, we win this game. Everybody is crazy. Fans, Jordan. Yeah, and you know how it is. Uh, national teams, a yeah, big party in in, in, uh, in Jordan. And then we play against Palestina. And we make it draw. And we have the seven on nine. Never happened in, in life in Jordan. And we have no goals against us. And we play against Australians here and Palestina. And then, okay, we start against um, Vietnam. I say to my players, listen, Vietnam, these players, you don't see them. They are so small eh, on the field. They are so fast. Eh? Be alert that you know that they are small, but you don't see him. but he's there. He's there on the field. And we did it good. We make a goal, a uh, 1-0 on uh, uh, bah, uh, Baha of Dagman, he made a free kick, very nice goal. And then I say to my players in the second half, a guy, be careful, when they will come. They are physical, very strong, mental are very strong. And then we did. some players did a super mistake, that can happen. That's 1-1. One, one. And then extra time is coming and you know, the nervousity is inside. And then, okay, uh, then is the, the lottery is there, the penalty. And then we must, yeah, looking who is the best. And on the moment, Vietnam was the best. And we're going home. Did you learn Arabic? Mahaba. 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 Walla, walla, walla. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Okay, to finish, let me ask you. During your football career, uh, you had three Egyptian teammates. Do you remember them? Yeah, two. One, one famous guy who was famous, uh, Nader, the goalkeeper of Egypt, and um, one Nader. And then, uh, okay, the crazy guy that I was 17 years old, uh, Midu. I was a father of him. He must listen to me when I was the oldest in Ghent. 
but he was amazing. He was amazing player, amazing player. Any special memories with Midu? That I don't tell. <laughs> that I don't tell. The Not even that, a hand. We have, we have good, good memories. Uh, he was 17 years old and he's coming, and you know also, he's coming from to, to Belgium and different style, he's Muslim and he's coming. And you know, in Belgium, we have a lot of people from Muslim and we can live with these people. And we make never problems about this. Amido, 17 years old, live alone in an apartment. And you know what, what happened? Papa is coming home and Papa say, don't do this. Don't do that. I mean, I said, yeah, Baba, yeah, Baba. Eh? And I said, Mido was for me uh, one of the best young players that I ever, ever saw. And the third one you don't remember? Ahmed Salah Hosni in Jen? Yeah, I know it. Uh, he's one of the famous players in, uh, in Egypt. And he's an actor right now. He's an actor? Yeah. A famous what, actor. He makes movies. Movies and series. And what he playing? Is he is he the Tom Cruise of Egypt? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can uh, recommend you some series or uh, a movie. Yeah, why not? Uh, I must uh, maybe. Uh, it's nice. But uh, next week, 21, um, I see Vidu. Vidu is coming to Belgium. Uh, we playing um, a game for for healthy people and, and Ronaldinho is the the big boss of this uh, organization and he's coming also and we're playing the oldest team of Kent against the oldest team of Standard and yeah many people coming looking and I see me do um, for a long time when I have connection when I was um, in Jordan with him together with Nader and I will be happy that I see uh, you. Would you love to coach someday in Egypt? I come to, to Egypt to coach, of course. I love it. Ever have been contacted with an Egyptian club? I have one time, uh, one or two months ago, um, one club, is they play now, uh, there was a champion. There was, uh, I think, five or six in the position. And they change from coach and they take the old coach back. Okay. And now they are champion of uh, the league. Zamalek? Yeah. And also the president, uh, I heard from my manager. I have a lot of respect for him. Why? He was honest to me. He said, no, uh, we take the old coach back. We know him. And they did very good result. And okay, I, I say, I can only say to the president, he made the best choose, and I I say big congratulations to the Zamalek when they are the champion. Well, we wish you wish to have you someday with uh, us here in Phil Gold. Thank you very much for your time. But also, I wish everybody uh, good luck in Egypt and, and to all the people. And this is very very important. A good, healthy, and family, and uh, think positive.